Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Amit Hassan, your host. In this video, we are going to learn MNIST classification by using neural network with TensorFlow. Well, in this video, the video is divided into several parts like loading the dataset, understanding the dataset, defining a model, how to compile a model, how to fit the model, and lastly, how to getting the accuracy. Well, so let's ju get jump into the video. Well, first we have to know about the dataset. So if I search on Google about MNIST dataset, now Google will show me some links. Well, if I go to the first link, well, it says that the MNIST database is of handwritten digits. Well, yes, the, this dataset contains a lot of handwritten digits. Well, it has a training set of 60,000 examples and a test set of 10,000 examples. Well, so basically it's an it's a image dataset which has a training set and a test set. And these are the number of examples it has. Well, so we will know much more about the data in our notebook. So first I have to load all the necessary libraries. So you can see that I am using TensorFlow, NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib libraries. So it's done. On the next cell, I am loading the dataset. I am loading, loading this dataset from keras.dataset. Well, now let's run it. Okay, the dataset has loaded. Now I have to download the dataset. Okay, by using the load underscore data, data function. So it's done. Okay. So now, well, well, I I have already executed this cell. Let's execute it again. Oh, so okay. So what happens in this cell is I am I want to show the second element of X train. So you can see that this is the returning array of second element. Well, it has some uh, weird patterns. You know, you can see that this pattern. Well, this is not so very understandable. So let's plot them with matplotlib. Well, in the next cell, I am plotting this by using the matplotlib. So let's again run it. So you can see that I am I am plotting the graph of 100th, 100th image of X train. So you can see that the image looks like something like this. Okay. So now I want to know the shape of the X train. So if I run it, it says that it has. 60,000 data in X train and the shape of each images are 28 into 28 pixels. Well, now let's run this cell which says X train uh, X text dot shape. So we, we can see that the X test has 10,000 images and all the images are 28 into 28. Well, after knowing all the shapes, we have to people pre process the data for that. We have to normalize the data. Well, what normalize means we are dividing X train and Y test both by 255. Uh, well, what it means is that it's scaling the values to a range of 0 to 1 before feeding them into the neural network. Well, let's run the run this cell. Well, the normalizing is done. Now we have to build the neural network. Well. For building the neural network, we are using the sequential model. Well, the first step is to flatten, flatten the input. Well, so we knew that our input shape is 28 in 28. That's why this value is of input shape is 28, comma 28. Well, what it does is that it transforms the format of the images, which is a 2D image, into a one-dimensional array. Well, next, next we are using two two layer two layers so we know that your neural network is basically uh, a block of neural layers you know so for that we are using the for in the first layer using we are using 512 neurons with the activation function relu and on the last output layer we are using 10 layers or neurons which which has the activation function of softmax well let's run it okay now we have to set the optimizer loss function and the matrix which is also known as known as compile the model so we are using the optimizer adam well what an optimizer do well it shows the model the update model updated based on the given data 
and the loss function. And this loss function is measures the accuracy of the running model during the training. And the matrix is we are using the accuracy matrix to see how well our model goes. So now let's run it. Okay, now our model is ready to get, get feed on. Well, if you run this model as we have defining that there will be 10 epochs so it's running right now it will uh, take almost one to two minutes to run it uh, we can see that the loss function is gradually decreasing and the accuracy is increasing by each epoch so just wait and we have to wait until it finishes 10 epochs after finishing the 10 epochs the training will be finished so let's wait so as you, you can see that we have already achieved 99 percent accuracy okay let's wait a little bit and the loss function is significantly decreasing okay this is the last epoch and as you can see it give, gave us 99% accuracy. So this is how you can easily classify the MNIS dataset. Well, this is all for today. I would like to say thanks to Lawrence Morone, I hope I pronounced it right, for the wonderful course on Coursera. I learned a lot from him. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. All the necessary files and links are in the description box. Please check them and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks again. See you guys soon.